Got a flight to Mobile, Alabama this morning, but as you can see, we're socked in. Part 91 has no takeoff minimums, however, I can't land in this. So just because it's legal, doesn't mean it's safe. Five whiskey with Victor. Like to pick up my IFR to follow the exec. Number three one seven five whiskey cleared to FXE via direct Gilby direct. On departure, climb to two thousand. Expect seven thousand within ten minutes. Frequency is one two five point one five and squawk four five six six. Cleared to follow the exec direct Gilby direct two thousand seven thousand one zero minutes one two five point one five squawk four five six six for three one seven five whiskey. Just to confirm, it's Gilby then as filed. I don't see what you filed, so if it was Gilby direct, fine. Otherwise, whatever you filed after Gilby. Roger, Gilby as filed, affirmative. And expect runway 15, advisory taxi, sir. Expect 15, and I will advise if I was kidding. All right, so we'll quickly load this up. Let's go ahead and go here. So we are going to go direct Gilby. The uh, EI. Enter. And what I had filed for. Was you'll be Victor 511 newer. Let's go ahead and put Victor 511. We get off at newer. Right there. Then after newer, we're going to Fort Lauderdale Exec, which is right there. Enter. And I go ahead and activate flight plan. Confirm it's there. It is indeed there. So, come back to Fort Flight. I go ahead and load in PGD, Gilby, Newer, FXE, Bubble Taxi Diagram, like one five, so he'll clear us out. Out here. Alright, let's go turn it to the map. Down there. Enter. All right. If you like that? You have your screen. You can adjust that as you like. Exactly. Uh, ground bearing three one seven five whiskey at the south. I print ready to taxi to one five. Roger, the wind's 160 today at runway 15, and uh, I'm assuming you need full length. Affirm for 75 whiskey. Okay, you can taxi via Delta and hold short of Charlie for me. We'll have to back taxi there for departure because Delta's closed. Delta, hold short of Charlie for 75 whiskey. Alright, welcome aboard. As you can see, the sky has cleared up and my plans have changed. We were originally supposed to be uh, flying to Mobile, Alabama this morning, but that has since changed. Got socked in, as you saw, and uh, by the time we could leave, it was just too late and things didn't make sense. Still, so, there will be a future Mobile, but for right now, uh, we got to run to Fort Lauderdale. For a quick flight and then return. Um, and we're ready to taxi to uh, 15. 
The thing about aviation is you've got to be willing to uh, to make changes. So. November 970 Alpha, clearance on request, standby. And as you can see, we have Lucy on board with us. Hello, Lucy. Can't hear you. As usual. <laughs> there you go. So, I think everyone's going to be disappointed. I don't have the Lucy cam set up here. And Baron 75 Whiskey, you can just hold short of Charlie, contact Tower 1 to 1 for the back taxi. Over to Tower for back taxi, 75 Whiskey. Go, go to bed. Better go to Tower Baron 3175 Whiskey, holding short of Charlie for back taxi. 175 Whiskey, hold short of runway 15. Holding short of 15, 75 Whiskey. 75 Whiskey at Charlie, make the left turn on runway 15, back taxi runway 15. Do you need full length? Left on 15 at Charlie and affirmative need full length for 3175 Whiskey. 75 Whiskey, Roger, full length runway 15, clear for takeoff on departure, turn left heading 150. Clear for takeoff, left 150 on 15 for 3175 Whiskey. All right, so we are clear right, clear left. Go taxi down to the end. Let's go to track. Our, uh, Pages in the green. Uh, left all went, uh, for one five, uh, cut and go, and I'll be leaving the area. Go flow. Go back and make one right 360 for sequencing. Airspeed alive. One right 360 for sequencing. Eighty four knots. Tango, how long of a final do you need? How does the rate? Gear up. Go ahead, put the gear up. Uh, no more. Move that out. Think five eight up there. Okay, what's a normal final for this? Then let's say a mile and a half. Okay, you can let go. Uh, Alright, lights are out, let go. Okay. Alright, perfect, thank you. Clear to land, uh, 15, 65 minutes. Yeah, after landing, plan to roll it down. Power back, 25 squared. If you're getting your ramp due to taxiway closures. Alright, we'll get up the go. 65 minutes. Honey, go to tower, assist in 9 or 7. Alright, 25. Ready for departure. 25. Crossing through 500. Okay, who's the next aircraft calling Tango Air Tech? A Cessna 9er 78 Sierra Alpha. 9er 78 Sierra Alpha, Tango to Tower. Roger, and can you accept the intersection runway 15 at uh, Charlie? Oh, yes, that gives us 3,500 feet, correct? 9er 78 uh, Sierra Alpha, that is correct. Runway 15 at Charlie. Cleared for immediate takeoff. Turn left heading 130. Turn left, uh, 130, 970, Sierra Alpha. That's not three, we'll go back to be ready to go for southbound departure. Go to Tower Cessna 20 Quebec, I'm downwind. Left for 15. 2 1 Quebec, you make one more right 360. It's going to be a little bit before I can get you back in here due to departures. What's that? 45 minutes. Yep. It should be handing us off soon. 500 to go. 3-4 Quebec, can you accept an immediate? Affirmative. 3-4 Quebec, runway 15, click for immediate takeoff. And proceed on course, understand southbound. Traffic on about a mile final to Chancellor. Keep it rolling, 3-4 Quebec. Bronco, hold short of runway 15, landing traffic. Bronco, holding short. 75 Whiskey, contact, Fort Myers, Parch, good day. Fort Myers, Parch, good day, 75 Whiskey. 68 is with you, level 4. Take the 290, turn right, heading 290, vector final approach, course, center, maintain 1,500. Heading 290, center, maintain 1,500, blue, 390. Number 4, Sierra Kilo, at 3 miles from Kalu, turn left, heading 080. Maintain 2,000 till established on the course, are cleared ILS, runway 4 approach. Approach number runway 5 approach. Heading 080, maintain 2,000 until the steps of the ILS, clear for the ILS approach at runway 5, 40 kilo. We're 6, Apopo Hotel, traffic at 11 o'clock, 3 miles southbound, 5,000 stairs. Welcome. We're 27 Zulu, maintain present speed or greater contact, push to quarter tower. The tower, 27 Zulu. 4 miles approach, Baron 3175, whiskey level 2,000. 
3175 Whiskey, Fort Myers, departure. Radar contact point maintain uh, 5000, turn left heading 090. Climbing 5000, left 090 for 3175 Whiskey. And approach, good afternoon, Delta 2868, switch to level 4. 2680 for Turtle. 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 for Kilo contact page tower Approach Piper Archer 1702 Hotel. Piper Archer calling, stand by, remain outside Charlie Delta Airspace. Number 60 Bravo turn, our right heading 360, descend to maintain 1500. 360, 1500 for 4260 Bravo. November 75 Whiskey, climb and maintain 7000, fly heading 100 and contact approach 126.8. Have a good day. 126.8 and uh, 100 on the heading up to 7000. 7 Connection 460, turn right direct Queasy, descend to maintain 2000. Uh, Correct, route to Queasy, I'm descend 2000. 240, 25, 45, 100. Let's see, one, two, five, one, one, five, jet length, 100. I'm sorry, 25, what's your? 25, uh, one, five, for jet length, 100, one, two, five, point, one, five. Five, fifteen, thanks. Afternoon, Fort Myers approach, Baron, three, one, seven, five, whiskey, four, point, two, climbing, seven, thousand, on a one, zero, zero, heading. Roger, A, whiskey, Victor, descend to maintain, eight, thousand. Set eight, thousand, of a very whiskey, Victor. Alright, so we'll keep adjusting our power, keep it at 25 inches. Because it's a little cooler, we actually have a little more power out of these engines than we do in the summer. So, Keep it within maximum cruising power. I try to keep it at 25 inches manifold pressure and 2400 RPM for the climb. Comfortable? Good? Yes. How's that, that ring on the headset? Does that help? Better? Yeah, much better. Much better. Excellent. Excellent. So yeah, so I'm going to have you start getting more involved. So when you do things like the gear, full lift, and then once it's up, you let go, and then we watch the lights. Okay. What you can do, which is just good habit that I try to do, is is when you go up, you lift it, and just kind of keep your hand here to make sure the lights. If we're putting the gear down, make sure all the lights come on. So it's to remind you that that we're here. So you look, make sure all three green come on. Once you see all three green, when we put the gear down. Then you can let go, and you know they're three green. And then you just say out loud, three green. Okay? If you one, hear me? If, you hear me? Yep. So if one of the lights don't come on, then you tell me we don't have three green. Because that's important to me. It's important to know if we have three green or not. Three lights. Yep. American 1627, contact Miami Center, 126.52. 2652, American 16, 27, good day. Miami, All right, so let's do a little experiment here. So I'm currently lean for cruise. Got the power set, 23 inches uh, manifold pressure. I got 2400 RPM. And I'm indicating about 100. Uh, looks like about 170, uh, 68 knots. Miami, November 63, Alpha Delta. And I currently have a fuel economy of 6.3 nautical miles per gallon. So I'm not going to get it, and my ground speed is 170 knots. 
So, uh, if I was cruising along, uh, I, at this rate, I'm getting 6.3 nau uh, nautical miles per gallon. Apparently, that's for me to say. And I'm burning about uh, 27 gallons an hour total. So, at this rate, I'd have 112 Miami expected 538 gallons of uh, fuel uh, when I landed in Fort Lauderdale. After LaBelle during the shifty to arrival at Fort Myers Beach. So, if I lean, or lean a peak, let's see if I can uh, remember how to do this. Change this over. After LaBelle joined the shifty to arrival at Fort Myers Beach. Nope, not what I wanted. Join the shifty or the shifty two after LaBelle, exception 530. Ten five three contact Fort Myers approach one two six point eight. One two six point eight five three. Door three one seven five whiskey clear direct Gilby. Direct Gilby, some of us. Alright, let's hit direct. There's Gilby. Enter. Enter. Gilby's a 138. Number 63 Alpha Delta, turn your 15 degrees right vector traffic. 15 to the right vectors for traffic. Back leaving 7000. Roger, we're right over one back traffic. 12 o'clock, 3 miles south west on the Cape And we're now direct Gilby. Unverified, you should pass So, I might run out of time for this. So I'm just going to start leaning the old fashioned way. The roughness. There's roughness. Bring it up. That's kind of how we learned when we were flying our, in our Cessnas and our Warriors. Do the same with the left engine. We're 6 3 off Delta, clear direct speed. 6-3 off Delta. Roughness. And up. Now we're gonna sit here and we're gonna wait a minute. Maybe, uh, one Quebec confirmed that we're supposed to cross Gilby at 4 now. Remember one Quebec confirmed it. And we're gonna watch to see how much this rises. So my airspeed's dropped. So, now... About a hundred and uh, fifty-four knot indicated. My ground speed dropped to a hundred and forty... forty-nine knots. My... My gallons per hour have increased... Uh, nautical miles per gallon has increased to 9.6. So you can see that um, Lena Peak lost a little bit of speed and gained, gained a little bit. So the question is, is that when you're on long flights, you decide what's more important. Do you want endurance or do you want speed? So depending on the flight, your your mission may vary. For me, I typically fly on Richard Peak because I have an airplane to get there. So I'll bring the power, uh, the fuel back up to my Richard Peak settings. My Richard Peak's climbing, and away we go. So here's the, the IFD-100, which as I've showed you guys before, basically mirrors my, uh, my IFD-440. And so I'm expecting pretty soon we're going to cross reinstruction for Gilby. So in order to do that, I simply come to FMS, I'll go ahead and make this wider. There's Gilby. And you'll I click on here and click cross. You can put the distance. I'll put cross at. So zero. Enter. Gilby at. And then I can set an altitude. So typically it's going to be like 4,000. So for the moment, it's just to show you, I'm going to go ahead and enter. 4,000 feet. Hit enter. Cross Gilby at 4,000. And now you can see on here, here's my top of descent. My TOD. Which will... Um, also give me an audio alert when to descend. Here you can see my vertical speed required and I've set up the top of descent to be set at 500 feet per minute. So this calculation is based on my current speed when I hit that point that I need to descend at 500 feet per minute to cross Gilby at 4000. And cross restrictions are, are set up that easy. So you can see on here I got my traffic. 
And then of course there's FXC. Oh. I also have my, here's my map page, basically the same, but I have a little more data information. I come to this page, which is pretty cool, because I can basically see the road I'm flying on. I'll fly now. I can see all the traffic, see Gilby, see my path. And you guys see me and touching on here a lot, so if I touch here, put in frequency, I can enter whatever I want, and then just hit enter, and uh, there it is. So, got my direct button. So that's how I direct, there's Gilby, enter, enter, I can cancel, and it just keeps my hands and everything right here, plus reaching up here. So the only thing I do have to reach is if I want to change the frequency, then I come up here and I hit the swap button. Other than that, everything I do, I do right here. And you can see my power setting. So I don't have um, auto syncing props, this is my indication if my props are sunk or not. So you can see it's slightly moving to the right, which means my right prop is slightly faster. I can just bring this down a hair, and then it stops. My manifold pressure, my fuel, my altimeter, all my navigation. Here's my engine monitor, you don't get a good, good view of from uh, the cameras. Of course, my autopilot. There's a little tour of the cockpit, is my engine gauges. I do have a radar altimeter down here and a uh, backup uh, attitude indicator, really for a co-pilot. It's kind of in a bad spot if you ask me. So thanks for coming along with us. This is a pretty quick flight. Uh, there's the sound for top of descent. So now I'll begin, actually I won't begin my descent because we haven't been given a cross restriction. But that would have been it. <laughs> I almost talked myself into it. So. Now, this is a pretty quick flight. Uh, I mentioned uh, we're going to Fort, Fort Lauderdale. Uh, we'll only be in Fort Lauderdale for about a half hour, hour. And then we'll be heading back. So, uh, hopefully I can bring you along for the return flight as well. But, pretty beautiful day. Uh, Unfortunately, the mornings didn't start off so well. But as always, though, if you like my videos, uh, hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Um, it's a pretty simple video, pretty short video, but those of you who... Uh, 75,000, if I was kidding. 620 Alpha, clear direct Naples. Naples, 620 Alpha. For those of you uh, who haven't followed me, um, I do get some pretty good flights going, get some weather interaction, so be sure to check out some of my older videos. Um, give you a clue what this channel is all about. So, uh, so if you do like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on social media as well, on uh, Instagram on uh, Beach Baron Pilot. You can also follow me on Facebook on Baron Pilot page. You can also come here on the FMS and go info, and I can see the METAR. Before law, it looks like. After Winko, you're clear direct Winko at this time. After Winko, direct Lakeland, Lima, Alpha, Lima. And then Which is what it says, Win 120. At 1 1. Visibility 10, temperature 79, dew point 64, altimeter 3009. So it is, uh, this one is 8 minutes old. And interesting enough, there's a slight difference between the hiatus. And, uh, and what I'm seeing here on the METAR. Number 3175, Whiskey, descend to maintain 4,000. Descending 4,000, if I was good. 75, Whiskey, traffic 11 o'clock at 5.5 miles southbound, indicating 2,400 unverified type by known contact. Might be approached 119.7, let's take a look for the traffic. Looking for traffic and 119.7, if I was good. Miami Delta 1650. Afternoon, Miami Center, Baron 3175, Whiskey 5.5, descending 4000, uh, looking for traffic. Baron 3175, Whiskey, Miami Bros, Roger, Spec the ILS, 90. Spec the ILS for 907, folks. 3902. Go ahead, procedure. I'm going to hit ILS 9. I can choose my initial approach fix. 
So we're flying to newer. So I can choose vectors, I can choose Enver. I'll go ahead and choose Enver. And as you can see, there it is, it's all loaded up. I'm gonna go ahead and activate the approach. We're on vectors for final. Three zero one zero Lima, my departure to contact by maintain uh, four thousand and turn left in three one zero. Four thousand three one zero and heading for one zero. Five eight alpha turn left city on one uh, two zero intercept the uh, niner on a first course. One two zero intercept uh, the localizer on five eight alpha. Seven five whiskey to send to maintain three thousand. Sending three thousand seven five whiskey. There we go. That'll get us out of this. For one zero Lima, climb maintain one zero thousand ten thousand. One zero thousand one zero. We're just sending okay. no uh, further than a five mile base for uh, traffic and Yeah, we're uh, in our base here now for five zero three. Two two. Thank you. Got that. Uh, Take me or cut that negative tower one. Okay, here we go. We're freaking out now. One point nine nine zero zero two. Now we'll be below it. This is nothing like our New Year's. Day. This is nothing like our New Year's Day flight. Don't worry. No After that flight, you don't have anything to worry about. One two zero to intercept the localizer. Sound for Whiskey. Before Lima Lima traffic, eleven o'clock and two miles southbound up. You need to get one thousand six hundred five. Your turn for you in about uh, four miles. Roger, got the traffic in sight, 4 Lima Lima. Four Lima Lima, turn left city, 180. Left 180, 9 to 4 Lima Lima. Alright. Five woods, you can maintain 2000. Sending 2000, send my woods game. Alright, let's go ahead and load the tower frequency. Vampire, because they're the next person we're going to talk to. 680, Charlie Bravo, Miami approach, Roger. Number 75 Whiskey traffic, 11 o'clock and 2 miles southbound, opportunity to get 1,400. Roger, traffic in sight, 75 Whiskey. Actually, look like there's two of them, 75 Whiskey. Okay, kilo, request you can change, take a beta. 5 uh, 0 kilo approved, return back to the street for two within one minute. Report back within one minute, 5 0 kilo. 75 Whiskey, uh, cross uh, Ember at 2000, cleared ILF 9 approach. Ember at 2000, uh, cleared ILF 9 or 75 Whiskey. Airport is directly in front of us. Traffic. Traffic is here. It's below us, yeah. Bring it down to. Reverse 75 Whiskey, contact negative tower, 120 point enter. Up to tower, good day, San Bosque. Sink to tower, bearing 3175 Whiskey, IRLS for 9. 3175 Whiskey, set tower, Romeo 9 or continue, traffic will be holding position. Continue for 9 or San Bosque. So we'll go ahead and load the ground frequency. That's the next person we're going to talk to. Alright, the flight sloops come in, so we're going to pull the power back. Into 16 inches. Let's slow us down. Once we're a half dot deflection, we'll go ahead and lower the gear. Executive tower. And that will bring us down. approach, and the published fish back to Miami Okay, you want to put the gear down? Pull that out and pull it down. Now. Pull. And then down. Yeah, pull. And then down. I'll help you. 
Pull and then down. And you keep your hand there and you make sure you get all three green. Okay. Alright, you're there you go. You can look on now. So we got three green. And we got one in the mirror. So, uh, one, three, one out. Do that. Matter of fact, we have to get back to, uh, Charlie Man. We have not been clear to land. Zero nine zero and heading clear to take off from one nine. I want to make a fourteen zero four. Tower two five two seven five zero eight. Hold it short nine in sequence. We're two seven five zero eight to start right. Exit like tower three one seven five. Whiskey, am I clear to land? One five five. We're here. Romeo nine. Lima line up on my traffic. Two miles final. One five Romeo Yankee. 515 Romeo Yankee, Romeo Niner, turn left, heading 330, Romeo Niner, clear for takeoff, traffic two miles final. 515 Romeo Niner, Romeo Niner, wait, cancel takeoff clearance. 75 Whiskey, clear to land. That guy's pulling on the runway. 2nd Tower, Baron 3175 Whiskey, am I clear to land? Number 3175 Whiskey, affirmative, Romeo Niner, clear to land, traffic departing. You better Number depart. Five Romeo Yankee, exit departure, turn left heading 330, start the left turn as soon as practical, traffic short final. Alright, going full flaps. Traffic. Number 75 Whiskey, departing beach check, contract turbines, Romeo Niner, clear to land. Clear to land on Niner, 75 Whiskey. Traffic. Charlie 6 Air Bravo, hotel 10 miles east, traffic. southeast, inbound Oscar. Charlie 6 Bravo, hotel exit tower, enter right down, Romeo Niner. Down with Niner, Air Bravo, hotel. Romeo Yankee, the caravan is due eastbound. Start the left turn 330 as soon as practical. Zero is starting to 330 now. Traffic. Traffic. 515 Romeo Yankee, contact my departure. Traffic. Five Romeo Yankee, contact Miami departure. Golf here, golf. Traffic. Want to make it fourteen zero four? Contact Miami departure. Traffic. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks, Thanks for coming along. So we are. Romeo Niner, here. If you like my videos, as always, give me that thumbs up and yeah, be sure to hit that subscribe button. The biggest thing you can get is your subscription. And a special thank you and shout out to my patron supporters. Without your help. All these videos would not be possible. Are you doing over the